Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Libra, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Libra. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is happening towards you, Libra. What is the guided message for you guys? This is a love reading for the Libra sign. Thank you so much, Libra, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Libra, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. And also, I will encourage you... Just give me a second. Oh, okay. All right. So, I invite you guys to check out the main channel. I have already uploaded your weekly collective reading, okay? Check out the Sunshine channel. It has your collective reading. So for today, this is a love message, all right? Thank you, Libra, for your support. I really, really appreciate you. Let's see what's coming towards you, Libra. What is the love message for the Libra sign? You have the Eight of Pentacles. You've got the Lover's card. That is a wonderful choice. I don't know why it flashes to me the... You know that I Am Sam movie? Okay. Maybe the, the name Sam, Samantha. Um, but yeah, there was a part of that. Lucy Sky Diamond. I don't know, maybe that resonates. But I'm hearing those Lucy and the Sky something. And also, it's a wonderful choice. I think it was the part where Sam was saying to Lucy that... Um, that's a wonderful choice. It's a good movie. So I don't know why I am seeing those images here. This is a love message. And that's a father and daughter, you know, kind of um, reading. I mean, um, movie, father and daughter. Okay. So, okay, maybe some of you guys, maybe not all of you would resonate, but maybe there's someone out there who would resonate. So, okay, let's start the reading. So, the romantic situation that you have, Libra, is you've got the Eight of Pentacles, you've got the Lover's card, you've got the Nine of Swords. So, I'm kind of picking up a romantic situation where you work, like it's a business pleasure, you work and you work at the same time, you're in a, you are in a relationship and at the same time, you work together or you have a crush okay it's possible that you have a crush you you have a romantic interest someone at work someone in your business like a business and pleasure business and work okay ash is right in here let's look at the eight of pentacles in here and the nine of swords the justice card so you've got the six of pentacles in here something tells me you're dealing with Okay, so the first reading I'm picking up is that you got a love triangle at work. Or I'm seeing a love triangle because this is you, this is work, this is your person. And somehow you could not be together because of work or you met at work. But there is a work and a romantic situation connected to work or money. Or maybe this person is a banker or someone likes you and you like them but you cannot be in a relationship because of something connected to work and also they're married okay someone is married yeah the knight of swords there's a moth in the flame in here it means that it's impossible to be together but you want to be together you know what it it's possible guys that this has happened already okay like it feels like this is an aftermath because you've already got the lover's card but in a collective reading, there is forbidden love, okay? I'm picking up a strong, there is a forbidden love. You've gone already through the nine of swords, okay? It means it's possible that you break up, you're not okay right now because of its forbidden love or something to do with, it's it's forbidden, but you keep connecting with it and they keep, they keep connect, connecting with you. 
Oh, all right. So let's look at the Nine of Swords in here. This is really interesting because it's about to happen. Something is about to go down. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Libra. Wow, Libra. Okay. So this time it is a little bit different. Far more than a little bit different. Okay, I'll tell you something. Okay. All right. So this is dating back last year, maybe recently, maybe six years ago. But this is a very unique um, something. There was someone in here, okay? Because there was a lover's card. It means that you guys are soulmate. You guys are stubborn soulmate. It means that in your past life, you also gone through a forbidden love. And then you promise each other that if, you know, somehow you quietly put a spell into them or them to you. But there was a forbidden love in a previous lifetime. It was so strong that you cannot forget each other and it remains in your soul, in their soul. And you met again. In this lifetime, you guys are doing the forbidden love because your soul feels like you belong together, okay? There's something of a forbidden love in here, legalities, work, long distance. Let's put it this way. If it's not a forbidden love, it's a difficult, complicated setup. But that complicated, forbidden love, it's now coming to a point where your wish is going to happen. The universe, Ten of Cups, look at that, okay? The universe will do something and will make, the universe will do something and will finally grant you and this person the entrance to Ten of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles, look at that, Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. The thing is, are you still interested? Okay? Because this is the queen. This is the queen and the king. Okay? There is heavily, this is like an ex or like an on and off and on and off. A good two years for some of you. Maybe for some of you like eight years for some of, like, for some of you like childhood sweetheart or... You met them at a very young age and now you're reconnect, reconnected, reunited thanks to technology, thanks to the digital world. You know, somehow they found you. You found the way back to each other again. This is very deep. This is very soulful in a sense where you're coming to a point that, wow, this is crazy. I really, really like you. Something like that. Like you guys are both crazy in love with each other. Like you guys are inseparable. Even though it's forbidden, it's complicated, you keep running back to each other. Now, the universe is going to do something. And the main problem, the struggle that you and this person has gone through, two months from now, okay, two months from now, it will be completely gone. Okay, could be marriage, could be long distance, but there was some, there was something, oh my gosh, I hope I'm not seeing this, but someone is like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to cleanse. Like, I don't know, maybe you guys are 55 onwards, maybe for some of you guys, but someone is going to be Buddha or someone is going to, like someone, you're going to connect or reconnect with someone and their partner died and then boom. This is your soulmate, like you met in your 20s or in your you know, childhood sweet card, sweetheart kind of thing. But I'm seeing that in here. But look, the impossible is going to be possible. The universe is going to find a way. The universe has built a bridge. You know, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Somehow your wish is coming through because you're going to be reunited with your soulmate okay libra you will be reconnected with your soulmate you will be reconnected with your soulmate and this time it's different because look at yourself you look like you can marry them 
okay? Look at the Queen of Pentacles. Look at the Queen of Pentacles. She looks like she's in a wedding gown. She is holding the bouquet of the flower. And then it looks like it's in the beach. And then under the sun. And it looks like you are about to marry your soulmate. You are about to connect or reconnect with your soulmate. And you will fully reconcile. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. The two Pentacles. They will be chasing you for a good two months. Okay. After two months, this will happen. They will chase you for two months until you break from your plain Cupid, playing hard to get. You know in your heart you like, you love this person so much. They will convince you. They will chase you for two months and prove to you that, hey, Ten of Pentacles, I can marry you now. I can move with you. We can do everything now. Ten of Cups, I can make you happy. Like, this could be like a whirlwind romance this year, okay? I'm seeing like after two months, from now after two months, this person will reconnect. They will even connect and reconnect with you while you're traveling. I don't know why I'm picking up, you know, five of cups, nine of wands. You know, like, you could be soul searching, you know, five of cups, nine of wands. Because nine of wands, you're not in the mood to go romantic to date. And five of cups, you're just soul searching. Like you're sad and just feeling the sadness and feeling the alone time and just feeling the feeling. You know, like you're soul searching, you're quiet, you're not into romantic, you're not into love, you're in self introspection, soul searching, connecting with nature, connecting with your higher self, really, really feeding your soul with lots of good food, adventure. It looks like you are. It looks like you are in a retreat. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Like you are traveling, like eat, pray, le eat, pray, love. You look like you're doing that kind of retreat. Yeah, look at that. Look, for some of you, if it's not two months, some sometime, okay? Sometime this year, you will be reconnected again. Reconnected with a person who you always think of them. Like... You will be reconnected with a person where you feel like you've got this strong, soulful twin flame vibe. Sorry, you've got this this strong soulmate twin flame vibe, but it's just so difficult. Like this is a person who I love you, but why is it so difficult and impossible? The universe will remove the im. The universe will make it possible. And it will happen in a time this year where you're soul searching or you could be in a new job a new place you're soul searching you're traveling you're not into love you're not into romantic you're you're into feeding your soul and this happens they will chase you they will chase you for a good two months libra they will prove to you so it's gonna be up to you because this is a major the one that got away thing in here okay so this is like a whirlwind romance that's gonna happen for you if you accept them this is quite unique you have the moon card they'll make you think they'll really convince you you know this person would even like they have a ring you know for some of you it's possible that you were engaged and it didn't happen they still have the ring Four of Pentacles, yeah. You know what? This person, whether this is a male or a female, they've, like, whether this is a male or a female, they've got, they keep with them a special momento. Is it an, this is correct English? Like, a special kind of, they hold something special. Maybe a picture, maybe a remembrance from a place you went to. Maybe a message, but they hold something special and they will show it to you that, hey, look, I've kept this. And you will be amazed and you will feel like this is really true, like they're being sincere. Yeah. So be prepared for this once in a lifetime opportunity to reconnect, reconcile with your soulmate. If you do end up together in this lifetime, then your soul and their soul contract is completed 
and that is a divine contract is going to happen i'm not sure if you're still going to follow each other in the next lifetime i'm not sure if i'm still going to be a sunshine i think i'm going to be a male in my in my next lifetime i'm going to be a male yep i think so so this is me. Thank you so much, guys, for connecting with me. Thank you for spending time with me. I really, really appreciate you. And for private reading, for the merchandise, everything is processed in the website. Please don't forget to follow me on my other channels. And I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.